This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. M Logo 3 is published by Motion VFX at motionvfx.com. It's available at their website. It's $49. It contains 30 logo animations for Final Cut 10 and Motion 5. All the backgrounds are included. You just add the logo. I've been a big fan of Motion VFX. Some of their motion templates are just stunning. The only downside to them is they take a while to render. So we're going to not render. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. With this, all I want to do is I want to add a logo. And it takes that logo. If I go up to here, see where I've got an event called logo. This is an EPS image of my logo that I went opened in Photoshop, saved out as a Photoshop layered graphic where the background is transparent and the foreground is just the logo. I then drag that logo into the clip. To do that, you select M logo. Let's go to it's in the category called M logo. And let's just take a look at some of the choices that are here. We've got this fire and smoke one. We've got sort of outer space, sort of reminiscent of ABC's logo for a while. We've got this animated slices. We've got another one that looks like this. There we go. Well, where it says ML3, that's where your logo would go. So I scrolled down and I picked, um, let's see, it was this one. There it is. I picked this logo right here. And all you do is you drag the logo into the timeline. Once it's in the timeline, highlight it. When the logo is highlighted, you go up to the inspector, and this is called a drop zone. Let's just clear the drop zone here. And this is what an empty drop zone looks like. To be able to add a clip to the drop zone, you click on it one time so it turns blue. And it says, where do you want to select a clip? Well, you have to select a clip from the effects browser. And I click on the clip. See where it says apply clip? Click it. And now it's loaded my logo into the logo template. And look at what it's done. It's extruded the text. It's moved the text, distorted the text, added flares to the text. All kinds of really, really cool stuff have been done to my logo. Well, let's try a different one just to see what it looks like. Let's try... Uh, this one, drag it out, and we'll set this to 720p. You can use these with 1080p all the way down to standard def PAL NTSC. Final Cut will render it to whatever size you want. That's not an issue. Select it and click on the drop zone. I'm going to highlight this uh, logo right here, apply it to the clip. When the logo is added, notice it here, the logo's too big. So I'm going to scroll down into the template and just change the scale of the logo to make it smaller so I can see it. Now if you've got a really small logo, if your logo is just the size of the star, you wouldn't have a big issue. I've got this bigger block here. But we've got formatting control, we've got framing control, the animation is built into the template and all you'd have to do is just let it render. Now what I've done for this webinar is I've turned off background rendering because there's just too much stuff going on in this little iMac. I'm doing the live stream to you, I'm running Final Cut, I'm doing a screen record so we can post it to the store. Little processor's just working this little feed off, so I turned off background rendering so the playback to you is a lot smoother. The cool thing is that the textures that you're able to get with these logos are really involved and really deep. It's not just simply taking the text and rotating it on the y-axis. Some very rich movement, and there's plenty to choose from. This is M Logo 3 by Motion VFX. This has been an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at new plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 111. Membership is a great value, especially when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.